Hey there! Today we're going to talk about something that might sound complex, but it is actually quite simple. REST APIs. And guess what? We're going to use something you're probably familiar with. A restaurant menu. You see, REST is like this menu right here. Just like how a menu lists different dishes, REST defines different endpoints, or as we'll call them, dishes available in a web service. Each endpoint represents a specific resource that can be accessed and manipulated. But how do we access these dishes? Well, we use something called HTTP methods. Let's explore them. GET. Think of GET as asking the waiter, can I see that dish? It's used to retrieve information, like reading a menu item. POST. POST is like placing an order. You're telling the kitchen, I want this dish. It's used to create new data. PUT. PUT is like modifying your order. Can you add some extra cheese to that? It lets you update existing data. DELETE. DELETE is like canceling an order. Well, well actually, I don't want that dish. It's used to remove data. And just like in a restaurant, communication is key. When interacting with the REST API, we have something called status codes to let us know how our order is being handled. 200, okay. Your order was successful. 201, created. The dish you ordered is ready. 400, bad requests. Something was wrong with your order. Maybe you forgot to specify something. 404, not found. The dish you asked for doesn't exist on the menu. 500, internal server error. Something went wrong in the kitchen. It's not your fault, but the order couldn't be completed. And there you have it, REST APIs. Might sound complicated, but when you think of them like a menu at a restaurant, it becomes much easier to understand. They help developers communicate with different web services, enabling the rich interactive experiences we enjoy online every day. So next time you're browsing a menu or enjoying an app on your phone, you might just think about the powerful technology making it all happen. So happy dining, or should I say, happy browsing.